do you know that how many people are consuming alcohol in our country it is 16 crore of the population and around 3 crore are consuming cannabis this is the stance of drug abuse of our country and drug has become a very important problems in india especially among the youth they are destroying the youth's life Hello and welcome to the special series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu and today's session is about the problem of drug abuse in the country. As you already know that today is the twenty sixth of June and this is the International Day for the Drugs. So that's why we have decided this session for you. And in this session, we are going to discuss about the problems of drug abuse in the country. So moving towards the next slide next slide is about that drug abuse problems in india so the international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking or world drug day in short it is called as world drug day is marked on 26th of june every year and this year what is the theme so the theme is world drug day 2024 the evidence is clear invest in prevention so this is the very strong message by this theme which has been given by the particular day and the global drug problem presents a multifaceted challenge that touches the lives of millions of worldwide so this particular 26 june is the global day and it is not just it limited to the india it because it is the world drug day so now we come to the another one which is about that what are the instances and what are the problems of drug so whenever if any body who is abused by the drug so that not just individual is affected the entire family and in fact the society and also the nation and the world everyone is affected because of these kind of things suppose it if a family of five and if any body in that family is abused by the drug and addicted to the drugs the entire family will suffer for that kind of thing you have to invest lots of money for the treatment you have to need money for uh, what you can say different kind of arrangement rehabilitation program so in uh, whatever the money you have that should be the development for the family development for the society but that money is used for the treatment that money is used to think uh, do things related to the drugs so this is the current stance of the drug abuse of our country and in india also the drug addiction is emerging to be the serious concern in the country especially in the younger generation of this country we have so many problems related to the younger ones we have this digital addiction we have so many issues but among them drug abuse is the most and so many youth life is destroyed and disturbed because of this their studies are disturbed we can uh, see that so many talented individuals are investing their life into these kind of social abuse of the problem now we come to the another one which is about that uh, what drug abuse and uh, you know what you can say the illicit means of drug suggest so it suggest the crime rate of the country it is not just just destroying the health of a particular individual it is also destroying the uh, entire society by increasing the crime rates of the country so this is also one of the problem and in a country like india drug trafficking and its uses only ruins the future generation but also affects the national security because many times what we have seen that drug has been transported imported and exported from different parts of the country and also taken from the other parts of the world so all these things had a serious threat to the national security also in which so many lives are also in the danger so this is the thing and what is the pledge we have taken so prime minister shri narendra modi had set a target that india and its youth should become drug free by 2047 this is very much important fact for your examination so you must remember this fact now we come to the another one which is about the status of drug addiction in india so this is the 2018 data we have the ministry of social justice and empowerment conducted a national survey on extent and pattern of substance use in india so this is the survey which has been conducted by this particular ministry 
and what this survey suggests that so this survey suggests that they have taken a age group of 10 to 75 years and among most alcohol use uh, uses is most which is 14.6 percent we have this cannabis 2.83 percent and then we have this opioids which is 2.1 percent so this is the stance and background of the drug condition in our country now we come to another one which is about the according to world drug report 2022 india has the fourth largest quantity of opm seized in 2020 at 5.2 tons and the third largest amount of morphine was also seized in the same year which is 0.7 tons and india had created a unique record of destroying 10 lakh kgs of drug worth rupees 12000 crores from june 2022 to january 2023 so in less than one year india has destroyed this unique amount of drug which is 10 lakh uh, crore of the drug 10 lakh kgs of the drug and uh, what this data suggests that we are not just the country uh, in which highest population is affected by the drug but also uh, we have so much of materials and the government had also seized and destroyed these kind of drug material and here it can see the worrisome data we have like fourth largest quantity of opm and also the third highest amount of morphine so which suggests that this is also becoming a very crucial problem that we are not just consuming we are also seizing it we are also storing it and that uh, gives the so many crime rates and so many crimes uh, in our country so that has given the birth to many crimes so this is not just the that we have this much of stock of drugs this is not just limited to stock this is also limited to the social evils because it is promoting so many crimes in our country uh, so uh, when we come to the from where the illegal drugs are trafficked in india so they are the telling the source that from where they are trafficked and they are transported in India. So, threats from the dead golden triangle consist of Vietnam, Thailand, Laos and Myanmar. Then also threats from the dead golden crescent comprise Afghanistan, Iran and Pakistan and according to the latest NCB data which is Narcotics Control of Bureau suggests that drug trafficking through sea routes in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal estimated to account for around 70% of the total illegal drugs smuggled to the India. So, this route Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal has become very much vulnerable when it comes to the drug transportation. Now, we come to the another one which is about the constitutional and legal provisions related to the drug control. So, first we need to know that do we have any constitutional provisions related to the drug control? Yes, our constitution of India says that. Article 47 of the Indian constitution this, uh, says that the state shall regard the raising of the level of nutrition and standard of living for its people and improvement of the public health. And if you are focused towards the improvement of the public health, then you cannot promote drug at all. And among its primary duties and its uh, particular the state shall endeavor to bring about the prohibition of the consumption except for the medicinal purpose of intoxicating drinks and the drugs which are injurious to health so the constitution of india has said that the government and state must look to the improvement of public health and also the limited uses are allowed just for the medicinal purpose but not for the consumption purpose so this is the uh, constitutional provisions we have now we come to the legislative measures that what legislative measures had been opted by the government so the government has enacted various laws and these laws are drugs and cosmetics act 1940 narcotics drugs psychotropic substance ndps act 1985 Prevention of illicit uh, traffic in narcotic drugs, psychotropic substance, 1988, the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment is a nodal ministry for the drug demand reduction in the country. This is very much important for your examination that which uh, ministry is responsible for the nodal or drug uh, demand reduction in the country. So, it is Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. 
now we come to the next one next one is about the international treatises and conventions to combat drug menace so here uh, we have so many international treatises but here we have shown in which india is signatory to it so india is signatory to the following so uh, united nations convention on narcotic drugs un convention on psychotropic substance 1971 un convention against illicit traffic in narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances 1988 and then we have un convention against transnational organized crimes 2000 so these are the international treaties in which india is also signatory now we come to another one another one is about initiatives taken by the india to curb the drug menace so these are the initiatives which has been taken by the country to uh, curb the drug menace so the first initiative is the narcotic drugs and psychotropic substance act 1985 and what it does so it prohibits a person from producing possessing selling purchasing transporting storing and consuming any narcotic drug or psychotropic substance then we have national action plan for drug demand reduction so uh, as i have already told you that ministry of social justice and empowerment is the nodal agency to it so they had prepared a plan for drug demand reduction for the period of 2018 and 25 and then uh, we have national fund for control of drug abuse and it was created for these kind of particular purposes and what are the purposes let's have a look combating illicit trafficking controlling abuse of drugs and substances identifying treating and rehabilitating addicts preventing drug abuse educating public against drug abuse so this is the thing now we come to that nasha mukt bharat abhiyan and what this is about so in order to make india drug free this particular initiatives have been launched by government of india on 15th august 2020 and under it there are 272 districts which has been identified as very much vulnerable in terms of usage of drugs in the country and what it invokes so nasha mukt bharat campaign is three pronged attack combining the supply curb of narcotics control bureau outreach and awareness and demand reduction effort by the social justice and empowerment and treatment through the health department so these are the three pronged attack and they are together fighting for the drug abuse now uh, we have another one which is about the narco uh, coordination center uh, which was established in 2019 which holds the meeting at four different levels so these are the levels seizure information management system sims e portals then we have unified database called the national integrated database on arrested narco offenders nidan and another database for fingerprints known as the nafis which is national automated fingerprints identification system and uh, they are uh, extensively used to control the drug menace and then we have this antf which is 35 states and uts have established dedicated to anti narcotic task force so these are the very much important for examination like nidan is related to nafis is related to so you should know the answer and you should also know the full form of all these things now we come to another one another one is about the ministry of home affairs so they had formulated the three point strategy and what are the three points we have coordination with the narco agencies strengthening the institutional framework awareness uh, campaign and these three strategies for the zero tolerance to drug and also they have this whole of government approach the government has laid constant emphasis on the interdepartment coordination to fight against the narcotics and uh, what it indicates what is the impact of these programs the government multidimensional efforts led to the increase of more than 160% in the seizure of the narcotics and 199% more cases have been registered against those who involved in its business by ncb so these are the impact which shown uh, about these that government is taking the effort and these are the impact which is also seen however this uh, impact is related to the seizures and what you can say capturing uh, illegal uh, drug material but we have to be also focused towards the usage of drug so uh, that area should be also taken care of by the government uh, so we have another one which is about the challenges in 
uh, tackling drug trafficking in India. So, lack of adequate infrastructure, the first is proliferation of the new psychoactive substance, dark net easing drug trafficking, poor awareness and education, high demand and social stigmatization. So, when it comes to about that what uh, kind of problems we have uh, related to the drug abuse, so, the first thing come to the awareness because we have lots of unawareness regarding any drug and sometimes people take it just for a fun but they are very much unaware that how much dangerous it can be for their health and also we have various kind of structured nitties gritties who are very much active in transporting drugs from one person to another person and also from one country to another country also from one city to another city. So, these kind of also easy net facilities are available. Also, we lack infrastructure. We have uh, so many technological outdated kind of things. So, we cannot detect so many materials that it is drug driven or not. So, this is also one of the problem. Because of that, we are lacking to fulfill our aim and also to curb the drug menace in a country. Now, we come to the another one that uh, what are the measures to uh, solve all these kind of the problems. So, the strengthening law enforcement, we do have a good amount of law related to the drug abuse, but enforcement and a proper implementation is necessary, enhancing preventive measures and addressing supply reduction, strengthening international cooperation, use of technology. So, I already have told you that uh, we are uh, lacking and outdated in technology. Also, we need to be uh, what you can say consider it as a what social stigmatization we have to also deal with this thing because so many people if they are abused by the drugs so they had to face lots of social stigmatization and whenever they come from rehabilitation center and whenever they decide okay we are going to leave these kind of bad habits the society have this kind of stigmatization okay this person was using drugs he is druggy and they have so many synonyms and nomenclature for that kind of the person so that also makes very vulnerable environment for those kind of the people so we need to also take care of the stigmatization related to a person and also we have to strengthen the international cooperation you have already seen that india is signatory to many conventions but how these conventions are applicable to the India, how much India is taking advantages from those conventions, we must revisit all these kind of the things. And uh, now we come to another one, another one is about that, what is the way forward approach we have. So, the way forward is that state should establish specialized courts against the drugs and conduct their prosecution in fast track mode. So, we have seen that how much drugs we have or uh, what you can say seize the police have seized it means that there is no control over transportation from one place to another place and also for the production also we are allowed to produce but also for the medicinal purpose not for the fun purpose not for the human consumption not for the daily consumption then we have to also look for the harsher punishment which will act as a strong uh, message and it will give a strong message that if you will supply drugs, if you will produce drugs, if you will transport it, then harsher punishment will be allowed to you and will be imposed on you. So, this will be uh, in order to give a strong message to society that if anybody is involved into such kind of the crime, they had to suffer this. Then the confiscation of the assets also, those who are involved into the drugs. So, they have these many kind of nexus with the police also, the political leaders also. So, the confiscation of asset can be a solution so that they don't have any means to produce and transport anything. Then public shaming by court, I had already discussed you about the, what you can say, social stigmatization. So, these must be stopped and also we have to be very careful about the illegal uh, cultivation of the drug. So, eradication of illegal cultivation of the drugs. So, this must be taken care of. Now, we come to the question part that uh, uh, we will come to question part later. But before that, we must also see that how drugs are uh, what you can say so much harmful to a country because it is not just uh, diminishing the effects of a particular person and also their health or any particular family. It also increases the crime rates in the country, terrorism in the country. We had already shown you the example that how we transport 
uh, drugs from uh, drug material from the other countries uh, the neighboring countries are very much active into these kind of things so this also promotes enmity and there is also a problem of constant threat and of the national security and integrity of the nation so these are the challenges we have related to this and we'll try our best to make india drug free by 2047 so this is not just for us but also for the future generation in order to give them masses that india is a country which does not promote any kind of the drugs and if our youth will be uh, not involved in any kind of shameful activities or in any kind of health injurious activity they can uh, enjoy their life and they can also divert their energy attention and education to a good cause so this is also a message which should be given by the government of india now we come to the question part the question is which is the nodal ministry of drug demand reduction in the country and your options are Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, Ministry of Women and Child Development. So this is very easy one. I think you will answer this into the comment section. Before wrapping up this session, we must know that you know how much drugs are dangerous to our health and injurious to health. So this is uh, along with the teaching class, this is also of awareness thing. And we must promote awareness regarding the drug abuse and illegal drug uh, production in the country. So India is firm towards eradication of drug by 2047 and we must support the government into this particular cause and into this social cause. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.